Hello and welcome to our daily wrap on day three of the Betfred World Snooker Championships. And three has been the magic number so far at the Crucible because there's three world champions through to the second round of the tournament, including this guy here, three-time world champion Mark Williams, who rattled off six successive frames against Alan McManus on Saturday night to come from 5-4 down to win by 10 frames to six. And after the match, in his post-match interview, he reflected on a period during lockdown where he thought about retirement sort of like a, a weight being lifted off my shoulders really because I was really considering uh, you know packing in and I, I made my, my, my decision I'm, I'm never packing in that, that's it I'm carrying on um, and I'm actually now I've made a decision it's all made I'm not going to change it once I make a decision that's it um, and I'm really sort of excited to see where I can be with my game in the next five years obviously touch wood and everything when I'm 50 whether or not I'll be on the tour, if I'm up the ranks, down the ranks, it's going to be interesting to see where I am and, and where I can get. And if I win another tournament, oh, brilliant. If I don't, it doesn't matter. I'll just keep trying for the next one. So was being forced to have time away from snooker, is that what relit the fire? You thought, actually, this, this is quite a good laugh. This is fun. It doesn't all have to be about stats and win, loss, percentage. Mm -hmm. I, I want to get back to it. Yeah, you know, it's, everyone's going through a tough time. I mean, you couldn't leave the house at one stage, only for uh, essential shopping. And, you know, it's just you got time to think then because nothing else to do. And, and you just thought to myself, you know, at the end of the day, we're playing snooker for a, a living. It's not really a, a job. It's a hobby and it's turned into a, a job. And, you know, you can earn unbelievable money. And I'm just thinking, you know, with it, my father was down a pit 12 hour shift for like 30 years till they all closed down seven days a week and and I'm playing snooker for a living and I, and I just thought you know get off your ass and just keep playing and whatever you are in, in the next five years it, it doesn't matter just try, try your best but you know sort of a kick up the ass really and stop being a, a big baby really and get on with it you're, you're playing snooker when you know other people are doing proper jobs. Yeah, a point of interview there from the three-time champion, Mark Williams. He's joined in the second round by the 2016 runner-up, Ding Zhongwei, just behind me uh, here. After he beat Mark King narrowly by 10 at frames to nine. And after his game, in his interview, he spoke about a lack of preparation time after a 14-day quarantine period. 14 days quarantine and uh, um, about eight, eight days, eight or nine days to get ready for the World Championship and also five months away the tournament. I'm not sure I can play good or not. I just try to, I try to play good. <laughs> well, you played well enough today. You're through to the next round. It would be Ronnie O'Sullivan or Tep Chai and New. It would be a really thrilling match. That How much are you looking forward to it? I'm looking forward to the you know, second round. I'm looking forward to improve my game again. Um, I'm looking forward to win you know, whatever who I played. <laughs> We have two games reach a conclusion this evening in Sheffield. On one of the tables, last year's semi-finalist David Gilbert had a real emotional run to the final four 15 months ago. He's going to come from behind against Kurt Mathlin. He trails five frames to four if he is going to make it into the second round. And meanwhile, on the other table, also again poised at 5 4. So he's a 2010 winner, Neil Robertson, taking on Yang Wen Bo. Now, this game was finally poised. It could have been 4 all had Wenbo taken his opportunities in the eighth frame, but Robbo came in and stole that one. But a break of 113 for Wenbo means he's just one frame behind going into this final session. Dennis Taylor watched the action this morning and he gave us his thoughts on tonight's games. I thought he was going to go to bits in the last frame because he threw that frame away. I mean, it would never happen again. It was bizarre. You know, he, he'd got to the stage where Neil needed a snooker and then he played a little bit of a poor positional shot, but he needed snookers and then played a, a strange shot, hit the pink and went in off. And Neil, to be fair, pinched that frame with a, a terrific clearance. But to come back and uh, make his highest break and a century break to be just one frame behind, that's going to be a fascinating battle this evening. And Liang Wenbo is just, uh, well, they're both brilliant break builders. So that's going to be a, a, a terrific encounter this evening and one to look forward to. On another table, we've got the conclusion of the David Gilbert uh, versus Kurt Mafflin game uh, as well. That's currently 5-4 uh, to Mafflin. Obviously, David Gilbert, what a run he had last year. An emotional run uh, to the semi-final. We've got a bit of work to do this evening. Well, he certainly has because he's up against a, a very uh, tough opponent in Kurt Mafflin, who's a brilliant break builder also. Very attacking player. He's not afraid to go for his shots. Indeed, uh, Dave Gilbert's a similar type of player. 
and I commentated on that match, and it was a very, very entertaining game to, to watch and commentate on. And that's on a knife edge as well. Difficult to, to pick a winner. You know, Kurt coming through the qualifiers, they're, they're, these, these fellas are so match sharp, but uh, the big boys still seem to be able to, to, to pull it out when, when needed. But they're, 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 that's why a lot of the matches are 5-4. They're so close. And this first round is getting through that one is the biggest uh, stumbling block because when you get to the three sessions, then you really feel your world championship started. So the first round, the, the, the top players can be a little bit vulnerable. So that wraps up day three at the Crucible, but day four sees another couple of former world champions get their campaign underway. 2005 winner Sean Murphy is in action in the afternoon against Nopon Sankam. And also the Jester from Leicester three-time winner Mark Selby gets his campaign underway against Northern Irishman Jordan Brown. Enjoy the action in Sheffield. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.